Hello, hello, it's Ori Krug here. And, oh, there's something in my tooth. Great, that's awesome. <laughs> anyway, I guess we'll just have to deal with that. Um, and we'll have to deal with the very catchy Fisher Price baby songs in the background. Um, so, I wanna tell you about a message that I just got from a client that I've been working with for about two months at this point. Um, we've got one more month together. And this client, who shall remain confidential right now, she was in a previous abusive relationship and came to me to work on healing this trauma. And so for the past couple of months, we've been working through movement to do this. And on Tuesday, we had a session to... Um, we had a session and basically we did a movement exercise where she had to communicate to me how to match my body's expressions to hers. And I had to kind of purposely rebel against that. And when she tried to get me to communicate to me to like, you know, follow me, she was quite um, bossy, I would say. Um, and was really trying to convince me really, really hard, but I didn't want to do it. I was going through my own stuff and right. Like there was such a sense of her needing so bad to, to convince me of something that there was just no compassion for what I was feeling or for what I wanted to do. And this was like the magical moment of like all the stuff we've been doing for the last couple of months. And it just clicked and she said, wow, like I knew this. I've been told many times that I, I lack that compassion and authenticity. But doing that and experiencing that in my body today totally just clicked it in for me. And so this was amazing. And our session ended a little bit after that. And I um, gave her some home play to do. Um you know, she already knew, she already knew what she was going to do. She's like, okay, I know now I know I, how I can be more compassionate. And so I said, send me an update. She sent me an update and, um, things were already shifting for her. And I said, okay, like, let's take it a step further. When you're with your partner, um, when you're with your husband, try to mirror him, just like we've mirrored each other in session mirror him a little bit not like in a weird awkward way like, but in a way of like if he is um you know if he's excited about something if he's excited to share with you something mirror that uh quality of expression for him or if he's feeling sad mirror that um and she came back today, this morning, she just texted or, or messaged me and she was like, oh my gosh, I don't know if I should laugh or just feel amazing, but I did what you suggested and all of a sudden my husband did the dishes without me asking, like he just did it and he never does it. And he also shared with me a story that was like meant a lot to him and we, we have been so um, disconnected and that we don't do that anymore. So this was amazing. Like he was opening up to her and, you know, just all the revelation of her being persuasive and never giving that space for him to, um, to share his feelings or to be emotionally available because she had been so guarded from her previous abusive marriage. Um, and it's like, it's just been magical. It has been amazing. She's like, I feel like we've, we're, we're now this is a new marriage again. Cause it's been quite a few years that, um, this past trauma has been closing her down and shutting her down from really connecting in her marriage. So the moral of the story is if you want your husband to, or your partner to do the dishes, um, start marrying them. No, <laughs> that's not it. Um, but really it's, the moral is really if you have been trying to say the right things or even like when we go to, you know, if you've been to couples therapy, it's like, okay, say this the next time, um, communicate this way the next time. And you even get a script of what you can say. 
but it doesn't work. You're either kind of flipping out in the moment anyway when there's conflict or you you might say those words but it's just so there's just such a block that it's not shifting anything and that's exactly how we started this session on Tuesday she she's like I just want to be more natural and communicate better and I was like okay great like let's explore this through movement I'm not gonna just give you more words to say um, I'm not going to do that because that doesn't work. Like you could get all the best scripts from the top relationship coaches in the world. Right. But if your body isn't on board, um, <laughs> Hey Jeanette, um, if your body isn't on board, then nothing shifts. So you really need to get your body involved. Um, you can't fake this, you know, your, your partner will feel if you're faking it or if you're like, just kind of trying to force yourself to take deep breaths and like convince yourself, all right, listen, be compassionate, um, show them empathy, right? Like you can give yourself all the mind or cognitive reminders, but you know, our, our language is 80% nonverbal is in our body. So it'll be obvious if you're not faking it. So yeah. Yeah. So Jeanette, start mirroring them. And again, not in like a, like, if they're going like this, you wouldn't go like this, right? But it's about mirroring the quality of expressions to show, wow, I really see you and I really feel you. Um, because if you've been guarded in your relationship, understandably due to past trauma, right? It's hard to let your walls down again. But if you've been guarded, um, then you have not been giving yourself the space or your partner the, the space to be emotionally available and connected and having the relationship that you want. So um, if this has been intriguing to you and if you've got any good tips from this really, leave a comment below and let me know what you're gonna try next with your partner to, um, to deepen your connection and make them do the dishes <laughs> or the laundry or something. No, like I'm just kidding. That's not the, that's definitely a huge plus. It's amazing, but that's right. That's not the point. And the overall point is I can finally have the relationship I've really been blocking with my partner. All right. I hope you all have a good Friday and um, peaceful weekend and enjoy playing with this. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.